This is Joseph Tan here with another follow-on clip on how we can have a clear conscience. A clear conscience is a powerful tool for energizing work morale because it helps us to overcome the blame game. In addition to identifying your basic offenses, one of the practical ways that you can demonstrate clear conscience and to steer away from the blame game is to demonstrate the character quality of sincerity. So what is sincerity? Sincerity is eagerness to do what is right with transparent motives. Now, how do we demonstrate this eagerness? You demonstrate this eagerness to do what is right by being willing to do what is extraordinary. So many people do just what is expected. Sincerity means you do just that little bit extra. So I'm going to share with you three practical extra things that you can do today to improve the quality of your relationships at work, at home and in life in general and to steer, steer away from pointing uh, fingers and getting involved in the blame game. So this is what you can do to build bridges of relationships today. Number one, call someone for no apparent reason. You know, when you receive a call from a long-lost friend, sometimes you really wonder, is he calling me just because he remembers me or he has something to sell? Just receiving a phone call with no apparent uh, agenda other than to just get in touch or to find out how things are going on is a very refreshing call indeed because everyone has a desire to know and be known. Perhaps you could call up your parents or call up your brother or sister whom you have not spoken to for some time and call up and just to find out how are you and uh, there is no need for an event, there is no need uh, to do anything but just to call up and say hello. Who knows, your call could be a very timely one. Secondly, if you do offend anyone today or you want to clear up uh, your conscience, do consider adding something to just your sorry. Uh, just saying sorry itself may not be enough because sincerity is not something you feel, it is something you do. So if you have um, broken your promises to your son or daughter, you might want to make up by buying an additional gift. Or if you have uh, offended your, your wife, you might want to uh, add on by giving her a flower. So uh, do consider doing something extra in addition to just saying sorry. It will help to demonstrate your sincerity a long way. Or if you have not um, been diligent in doing your work, you have failed to meet certain deadlines, you might want to offer to take on extra assignments to make up for it. So in that way, uh, you will make sure that uh, you build strong bridges of relationship. Thirdly, do consider getting to know someone by name today. It could be if you're in the restroom and you know the the machi is cleaning the room, uh, you might want to say hello. You know, uh, thank you very much for serving us. What's by the way? What's what's your name? Uh, the person at re at the reception. Do you know her name? Uh, it could be someone that you bump into in the bus or in the train. Um, get get to know someone by, by by name. Someone once said that the sweetest word to a person's ear is their name. So to, don't take your colleagues or people in the other department for granted. Uh, ask them, what's your name? How are you doing? So when you do greet someone today, don't just say, how are you? And just walk off. Pause to listen. Listen to the answer. You might be surprised at what you can find out. So, what is sincerity? Sincerity is eagerness to do what is right with transparent motives. You can do that by calling someone today, remember, for no apparent reason. Or, you can add something to your sorry, making restitution and doing something extra to demonstrate that you are sincere. And thirdly, get to know someone by name today. In addition to just saying, how are you? Stop and listen. You will probably discover something more. 
So to have a clear conscience and in knowing how to overcome the blame game requires us to go the extra mile. And it begins with you today. Think about it. This is Joseph Tan here from goodmonday.com.